Right then, how to add Owl's Build. First thing we're going to do is go into Settings, System Settings. We're going to scroll down to Add-ons. We're going to scroll down to Unknown Sources and turn that on and click Yes. This is a new feature in Kodi 17. When we've done that, we're going to make things easier for people. Everyone knows the Confluence skin, so uh, we're going to change the Confluence. So we're going to go Get More. Scroll down to Confluence. There it is. Wait for it to install and we're going to click yes, we want to keep this change. When we've done that, we're on the normal home screen everyone's familiar with. So we go to System, File Manager, we're going to go to Add Source. Then we're going to type in the, the address which is http or colon forward slash forward slash repo dot Araris project dot com forward slash magic make sure you spell it right now we need to give that a name you can call it whatever you want I like to keep things all the same so we're going to call it dot errors click OK and that's in so we're going to go back out now click system I'm going to go down to add-ons and go back out there we're going to go to install from zip file and we're going to click that Araris there. We're going to click that one, click the zip file, and wait for that to load. Should only take a few seconds. Yep, there it is. So, when we've done that, we can go to install from repository, go to Araris project. We want to program add ons. Select that and select Araris wizard. Now this is already here, but what you'd do, you'd click install and then enable. It doesn't take too long. And then when that's done, we'll click open. Now you'll get this message because they haven't updated it fully for Kodi 17 yet, but everything works perfectly fine. Right, once it's opened, we'll go on to browse builds. We'll select that, and then these are all the possible builds you can download from loads of different people. We're going to go to Owl's Builds, which is down around about the 260-ish mark. It's around here somewhere. Click in. There it is. So we're going to select that. Now sometimes this can be a bit slow depending on the time of day. So we'll select that. Now there's three different builds to try. You've got, now you need to make sure you get the right one. So if you're on Krypton, you need a Krypton version. If you're still running Kodi 16.1, you need the Jarvis version. Al's Eminence is designed for, as it says there, Kodi 17. Um, that's a completely different build. And that's what the Owls build looks like. Now then, if you've previously got a build on, it's important you do a fresh start. Basically, that'll wipe your build so you're starting on a fresh start. We've obviously got a clean build, so we're going to click on Install, and it's going to start installing it. Um, this will depend on how quick your internet connection is, what time of the day it is, how busy the servers are, and loads of different things. So what we're going to do, we're going to fast forward to the end of the download. Right, it's nearly finished downloading, just a few more seconds. Right, it'll automatically start extracting the file. This is usually pretty quick. That's it. You know, you'll have a pop-up asking if you want to back up the profile. Um, some people like to do this. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, once you've selected that, you need to press this to close Kodi. Kodi will close down automatically. All you need to do is go and start it back up again. And there you go. The build is all there. Um, what will happen is you'll get a few pop-ups come up. Um, it'll start updating any add-ons that need updating. Um, depends on when they were added. So once you whiz through that, that's basically it. You're up and running. 
um, as you'll see, this build's got all your usual add-ons for um, TV shows, sports, live TV, movies, and whatnot. All with interchangeable um, wallpapers, stuff like that. Just click in the movies and show you the movies. That's movies. Obviously, you've got different sections as well. And um, that's basically it. Obviously, you've got a few add-ons in there as well. All the ones you'll need. There's no point having too many add-ons like some builds. You just need the ones that you're actually going to use.